One in six men will develop prostate cancer in their lifetime. In tonight's Wear the Gown, Ken's Five reporter Jeremy Baker takes a look at ways to catch the disease early. Prostate cancer develops in the glands of the prostate in men and is quite common as the hair grows gray and the prostate grows in size. But the good news, prostate cancer has one of the highest survival rates of all cancers. Um, it is most likely that the prostate cancer that is diagnosed most likely is an indolent, slowly growing cancer that most likely has low chance of spreading outside the prostate. Dr. Ahmed Mansur is a leading urologist with University Health and UT Health San Antonio. Well, we no, don't know exactly what causes prostate cancer, but we do know that there are risks for developing prostate cancer. Those at a higher risk for prostate cancer include men of older age, African American men who are 75% more likely to develop the disease and twice as likely to die from it, those with a high fat, high carb lifestyle, men who are obese, and those with a family history. If you have a first degree relative with prostate cancer, there is a high chance that you will develop prostate cancer. In 2018, the United States Preventative Task Force said selective prostate screening should begin at 55 and continue through 69. The potential benefits and harms of screenings should be discussed with a patient's clinician. And for those age 70 and above, prostate cancer screening is not recommended. However, for those at a higher risk, such as African-American men and those with a family history, screenings are often recommended between 40 and 45 years of age. About 40% of prostate cancer are related to inherited genes. For more information from Dr. Monsur about prostate cancer screening options and the best treatments, check out this story on Kens5.com. Jeremy Baker, Kens5.